Sports. That El Paso appears in its first Sweet 16 since 1966. We thought we'd turn the clock back a bit to a time 26 years ago when UTEP, then known as Texas Western, shocked the basketball world. To a time 26 years ago when a team with five black starting players took it to Adolph Rupp's all-white Kentucky powerhouse. Press really uh, beats it up as being, let's be realistic, the blacks versus the whites. They were calling us uh, all kind of things, criminals. You know, we were criminals. Coach put his best five players out, and they just happened to be black. Where could they go? How many places there wasn't a black player in the Southwest Conference, there wasn't a black, black player in the Southeastern Conference? that we had a better team, but we had to prove it to everybody else. always very bitter with that loss you know I mean he had you know he had not been to the final four since 1958 uh, he was 64 65 years old I think it played on him so much that he wanted to win that that particular championship because he didn't know if he was ever going to get back that far again uh, coach Rupp has said that you know I was from uh, some prison in, in Baba Joe was an escaped convict, and Willie Cager was this, and Neville was that, and we were just banditos from down in Texas. We were bad guys. And my response to that was to just to say, well, after you call us all those names, and you can always say we were well coached, and we were mannerable, and at the end of the entire phrase, just say national champs. a landmark game in college basketball, kind of like a famous Alabama-USC football game with Bear Bryant's all-white tied team losing to USC. Ironic as we see UTEP march through the bracket that waiting in the other side of the bracket, I know it's a long way off, but Kentucky and UTEP could possibly meet in the title game. A long shot, but it could happen. We want to recap.